Hey guys, my name is Jackson Hensley. I'm the summer video editor for The Red and Black, and this is Weekly News Roundup. First, we're gonna hear from Liz, who covered Athens' first Pride Parade this past Sunday, and then we're gonna hear from Maddie, who covered the upcoming District 5 runoff elections. So my name is Elizabeth Reimeriv. I'm the summer assistant culture editor here at The Red and Black, and I recently just wrote the Athens Pride Parade article. On June 12th, the Athens Pride and Queer Collective held their very first Pride Parade here in Athens, and it was really great just to have the whole community come together and just stand in solidarity with the queer community and kind of have representation for those who are queer and just kind of have people there just in their corner just to kind of help them figure out their identity, help them represent their identity, and just kind of, as a whole, come together and just celebrate Pride Month, so. So the parade started off with a lot of different floats and cars and just different really cool groups of people coming through, all dressed with the rainbow flag somehow. People had like the little flag just kind of waving around or like as a cape or just dressed all in rainbow. It was really cool. It was really colorful. There was music playing. It was a lot of fun. A lot of different signs being held up, kind of standing in solidarity with the pro-LGBT legislation and everything. And it was just great just to like see everyone come together, bring their dogs. People had lawn chairs kind of set up, watching the parade go through. There was a truck that came by that was just covered in glitter streamers. It was really cool. Um, there were motorcyclists. There were some roller derby girls. And it was just, it was really, it was a fantastic parade. <laughs> So this article can be found in this week's edition of the paper. It'll be on the inside cover and on the website. It's also up there under the culture section and it's also in an Instagram post on our social media. You guys can go check it out and just kind of support the red and black and student writers. Hi, I'm Maddie Brechtel. I am the summer news editor. So the athens Clark County District 5 is holding a runoff election on next Tuesday, June 21st. Um, after the May 24th primary, um, neither Dexter Fisher or Matt Pulver secured over half the vote. And so that means that a runoff will happen. Um, so absentee ballots are due on election day on Tuesday by 7 p.m. Um, early voting already happened and so both candidates are um, set to run on next Tuesday. So athens Clark County District 5 now will represent um, most of Mitchell Bridge Road to the end of Newton Bridge Road. If you want to read more, visit redandblack.com. If you want to read more about these two stories, visit redandblack.com or grab a paper. 